Today we're going to expand on this idea of propping your foot when you're sewing through something that's very thick. In many instances, my plan A is to just design things such as the way this is designed where my stitch line is here and when this is inside of my machine and I need to stitch all the way to the edge, my foot's actually 50% propped by the design itself and that's what I plan when I can. Of course you can't always do that. And so I'm going to stitch back and forth there uh, a lot and then I'm going to sew down here. Okay, so you can see how I'm not letting my foot get too far off the back and this is stitched across here anyway so this is really the live area of the piece. I'm not planning to use anything outside of this stitching. In those situations when you can't design it that way you need a plan B and for me plan B is to prop my foot and I never knew that this was called the, the things you can buy for this are called various things one name is a seam buster and if you google seam buster um, a subscriber actually told me that you can see what they have for sale for that commercially my sewing machine came with this item and this item is I believe acrylic and it's got three pieces so you can adjust the height of how much you're using and these are called height compensating plates and which is a great name <laughs> because it kind of says what it is where seam buster doesn't say what it is to me what we're doing is an action or a verb we're propping our foot in my last pro tip I showed how I often use either this end or this end of my clothespin as my mechanism for propping the back of my foot. You can also use pieces of cardboard and I just cut these from the piece off the back of a yellow pad that I have in the sewing room. And with these one thing I noticed is that two pieces of this are exactly the same height as one of these. And so six of these would give you even more variations because sometimes what you really want is between one or two or between two and three and uh, with this setup you could do whatever you needed. Another option that I saw in a video that was about sewing jeans that I really thought was great was to take the loop from jeans and we're going to do a project in January where we uh, take loops off of jeans and this is a great use for them because it would be easy to have some at every sewing machine and then when you need to do this backward and forward motion, uh, you could just pull this out. This won't always be high enough, but one of the things about it, the slick plastic will sometimes misbehave because it's slipping around and so will uh, your wooden piece. But this cloth piece is, has a little more friction and keeps it where you want it a little bit better. Okay, this is a mock-up of a scenario where I want to stitch all the way to the back twice and get all the way to the edge. I don't know if you can see that there aren't any skipped stitches. Can you see that? And I don't have any uh, worry that I'm going to break the needle when I do it like that. Another scenario is one where we're going to temporarily allow a fabric uh, shim or seam buster or whatever you want to call it that is the appropriate thickness we're going to allow that to stitch onto our piece temporarily often I'm in a situation where I'm trying to stitch together two finished pieces and pretty closely match them at the end and I want this to be very tight because it's a stress point in the design and it's where the piece will rip out first and in those situations I always like to stitch them very closely so if you imagine that that's what this is I'm only attached once here 
and when I clip that thread, I've got my back and forth stitching here that's going to anchor this stress point for me the way that I want. Plan C to do this without any help, but to go very slow and to walk it through. And if I'm doing that, I do double check the quality of my stitches because it's possible in that scenario to find that you did skip some stitches and that your seam is really not that secure. But this will get you through certain situations and it'll work just fine for you in a 